Hello everyone. Welcome to Data and Cloud by GT. This is Gaurav, your friendly data architect. And today we are going to see the iceberg tables and its uh, time travel, time travel features. Uh, if you remember in our last video, we had a look at how to create iceberg files and tables using uh, AWS Glue and uh, how the tables are created in the Glue data catalog directly from Glue ETL itself. Uh, today we'll try to focus on uh, how do we query the iceberg tables and uh, we'll look at the important features like um, updation and deletes uh, as well as the time travel features that it supports. So um, let's let's uh, let's first go to go to our parquet table so that I can show you uh, the difference between a parquet and iceberg. So I'm into Athena, okay, Amazon Athena console. Here uh, we can run the queries against the tables. So I already have a couple of tables. One is this input parquet, and the other is this one draw iceberg of twenty three. Okay. So uh, if if I query this table, right, select all star from iceberg, and uh, I'll use one of the filters. Uh, this is the taxi data, the NYC taxi data that we have used. Okay. Let me run this and see how many passenger. What is the pa uh, rec number of records for passenger count is equal to nine. Okay. So if you see the results that we get, it is 19. Okay. Um, now let me run the same query on the parquet table, right? I, had, I see basically this iceberg table is nothing but created using a parquet file. And uh, based on that parquet file, I've created this table. So uh, just to show you that both these tables have the same data, I'm running queries on this. So I've run the same query on parquet as well. If you see, there are 19 records. So there are 19 records in the input parquet table. There is 19 records in iceberg table. But what we cannot do in parquet is something like an update or delete. Okay. Let me try to update. Okay. Um, so I'm going to I'm I'm going to try to update a parquet table. Okay. And uh, let's say I'm going to set the passenger count as 12 instead of 9. So the 19 records that we just saw for passenger count 9, I want to see if I can update that. I run this see what do we get okay so it's not possible because okay what it says is modifying hive table rows is only supported for transaction tables so those who come from an hadoop background and have worked on hive they might know that there was a feature in hive where we can create transactional tables with supported update queries but the normal hive table does not support so this parquet uses uh, the same same uh, hive table uh, you cannot really update anything okay so it, it is uh, because the data is uh, stored in s3 right it's immutable you cannot really update that and that's the difference between a normal parquet file and a parquet file which is managed using open table format like parquet we had seen this in our earlier video right the difference between an open table format and the normal file format right now let's try to do the same query okay uh, let me try to update uh, some of the records whose passenger count is equal to nine on an iceberg uh, table, right? So we have this table. I'll try to set a uh, passenger count as 12. Okay, using this update query. Let's see if that works. Now, if you see, uh, this query should work. And yeah, see what we got is query successful. So the passenger count has been updated. Okay, let's, let's now try to do a count star see what do we get there should not be any record with 9 right? this is 0 because it was updated and let me try to make it 12 we should be able to again get as 19 record okay 19 so what we have uh, what we have just seen is we can run update queries on a iceberg table okay but the same does not uh, allow we cannot do that in a parquet table now we have seen the update similarly delete would also work but let's now try to see something uh, which is known as the time travel so what is time travel is because it's a open table format right like iceberg it retains the older versions of the record so we can still see the records where the count was 9 and we can still see the records where the count is 12 if i run, run a normal right see this is this is a normal query right in the latest version if I run this, okay, and let me do it as again nine, we will not get any records here. Right? This is this is zero. Okay, this is this is zero. 
now because uh, we have run it on the latest version now what we can do is we can try to run the older version and see if we can get this data now how do we do that okay so this is the method to do that we have to write for version as of okay we have to give this value so where we'll get this value okay so for that we have to head to the um, files okay let's go back to this this is where we had created the uh, final iceberg uh, files in s3 okay if we go and run this there is a data and metadata if i go to metadata okay i would be able to see the snap files right i have put a filter here snap files so this is where you get uh, this number right this can be used as a version so let me use the original one the one that i had created long time back okay october 25th let me use this okay and this was the first time when i created the table so this should give me okay as the original value so if i now run this query with passenger count is equal to 9 i should be able to get the records right 19 records okay but uh so this is the older value okay older version so it has retained the older records also so what parquet does is like okay it can uh sorry what the iceberg table does is it retains your older version also now what is the latest version if i go to the latest version right sorry um I let me go back to metadata and snap. So this is the latest version. Okay, this one. If I run this, right? This is the latest version. If I try to run it now, just copy. It again get the count as zero. So the latest version is same as this. Okay. Uh, what I'm trying to show is we can retain all the versions. Okay, now if i update something okay let me update this back okay update this where passenger count is equal to me make it as again nine passenger count is now i'm trying to update it again okay so this update should work um yeah query successful if i run this query again right now this is not the latest version there would be a new version fine let me first run this query here the count was zero we should still get it at zero because for this version the count of records with passenger count on nine was zero right what is the latest version let me make this as latest me what we want is what is the latest version so for latest how will we find it we'll go back to s3 okay i'll go to metadata here if i filter on snap we last modified this is the latest let me grab this version and put it here okay this should now give as 90 Okay, the previous was zero right now i'm running this on the latest version where i have updated again i should be able to get 19. okay so that's it guys that is what i wanted to show uh we have uh, looked at two things one is uh how do we update can we update something in iceberg using athena as a service we can do that okay uh now this is only available in iceberg as of now i think uh you can check the aws bag block for delta and uh, hoodie i think uh, still they update through um, the uh, Athena engine is not yet supported you can do it through spark engine but for iceberg there is a read write support to Athena so you can update or delete as well and second is we saw the time travel feature okay of an open table format uh, like iceberg so uh, we tried to update something we saw the latest count we were able to get the older version also then we again updated back to the original value and we were able to see that using the latest version so that is the time travel um that's it guys uh thanks for watching the video and uh, stay tuned for more such videos thank you